A group in the North Bay has combined a love of cycling with a love of trains, and the result, the Russian River Rail Bike. John Ramos went up there to try it out, pedaling along for a Sonoma County tour. Trying to ride a bike along railroad tracks would be a jarring experience. But here in Cloverdale, they've managed to combine the two into a truly unique outdoor adventure. Someday, the Smart Commuter Train Service hopes to extend to this station in Cloverdale. But beyond it lies a golden opportunity for a group of railroad enthusiasts. So we've kind of carved out a niche north of their operations, but also a section that probably won't be used again. Welcome to the Russian River Rail Bikes. A group of volunteers from the Golden Gate Railroad Museum is operating a fleet of four-seat pedal-powered locomotives that take adventurers, like the Singer family from San Jose, about three miles up the tracks for a truly unique railway experience. I thought it was pretty cool. I found it online actually, and then I sent it to them. Uh, and yeah, I thought it was a good idea for our vacation. The trip takes about 40 minutes each way, a 10 mile per hour journey past vineyards, through a tunnel built under a cemetery that may or may not be haunted, and eventually right alongside the Russian River, which can look pretty inviting on a hot day like this. Finally, the journey ends here, and for good reason. Yeah, you can see why we stopped where we did, because the track is a little unusable up here. <laughs> The track was ripped up here in the early 2000s because of a fire in a nearby tunnel. Officials had to plug it up with dirt to extinguish the blaze, but that left the three mile stretch of rail line as good fortune for the rail bikes. Usually somebody owns them or they're abandoned and torn up. So to, to find rail tracks like this, and it's a, it's a nice distance, it's not too far. I've never felt like I'm over tired from doing it. And usually I do one or two trips a day when I come up, so. The operation began in April and they're still getting the word out. The whole thing is run by volunteers to benefit the museum, but the group's president admitted he didn't get it at first. Honestly, the first time I thought about it, <laughs> I was not that impressed, but uh, they brought it out and we took it for a test ride and I instantly fell in love with it. I think just being this low to the rail, I've always loved bike riding and to just get out here cruising along and just seeing this this scenery and it's just kind of a nice little natural relaxing experience and you don't you don't normally get this quiet uh, surrounding when you're on a train so it's uh, I was sold <laughs> I was not an early believer let me tell you but but now I am the rail bikes operate only on weekends until sometime in October. It costs $45 for a single seat or $140 for an entire car. There are four guided tours per day, weather permitting, but they only have 10 cars, so it's best to reserve a spot online.